Santana could honestly make you a beat out to, of anything you want. Literally, like, I've had instances where I tell him an artist, or I'll show him a song, and literally two hours later, he's got some kind of beat made from that. Yeah. Like, he could be like, hey, Santana, can you, like, get, like, a sample of a uh, pan falling down? Uh, I don't know, a flight of stairs. And then can you make this into like a fire ass, like fucking hit it with some 808s and shit? Yeah. And then you, he'll be like, I right, got you, fam. Two hours later. It's amazing. It's, I don't, this man is so, like, I feel like he's one of those people you, that sees music. It's nuts, bro. Give me a sample of that goddamn fucking Margaret bitch. Margit, Mar, what the fuck his name is? Dying? Margaret Robbie? No, what? No. Elden Ring. <laughs> Margot Robbie. <laughs> That's fine too. Either one. That goddamn bitch dying on the goddamn bridge. Make that a fucking beat. Sample that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, welcome back to the uh, Something Original podcast. My name's Chase. And I'm Gunnan. Oh, welcome back, Gunnan. And I just want to say, I just want to give us a quick shout out, real quick. We are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube, we also have the gosh darn Patreon. If you guys didn't know, we got actual exclusive stuff. Finally, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Next caller available now. Uh, Gannon's book is also on the po- or Patreon. Uh, go give that a listen. Go, go give that a listen. Go give that a read. Do whatever you want. But next caller, we're getting some positive feedback from it, so I'm very excited. That's going to be continuing uh gannon how's that book coming along it is a process of <laughs> creative arts yep i mean shit you said it the best creative arts it's a process <laughs> sometimes it can take a minute others it can take <laughs> nine years <laughs> and gannon has a ladder <laughs> yep i have a ladder going up to the nine minutes nine years no, I'm going to the nine minutes. Oh, okay. What I, uh, is the audience that will be the judge of uh, time? Yeah, judge of time, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely go leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe. Uh, definitely check out the Patreon. Uh, you know, it's only five dollars a month, and you get access to an exclusive show. We'll be doing like another exclusive show that hasn't come out yet, but it will be out. Uh, Gannon's book, you know, it's awesome. Give it a try. Give it a listen. Uh, we love the support. Thank you guys so much for all the support. We also have that initiative, 10 Patreon subscribers. We drink pilk on the podcast. And <laughs> for so- it's crazy because like you'll have like other more developed podcasters uh be like okay dude like for uh, like a thousand likes guys right now if you do it right now i will drink (laughs) this pilk then we're like chase and i are over here like you guys give us 10 fucking subscriptions that's it and we'll drink this shit we will we will brand ourselves at 20 yeah that's right i mean never mind take it back take it back (laughs) i mean that's my next tattoo idea so i'm kind of branding it (laughs) brand <laughs> brand ourselves i mean in a, in a way like that's one reason i like getting it is because like it's like the first thing that firmed the podcast really you yeah. know like, that was like the start Ex- and then... uh, explain to the audience because i know what you're talking about but they don't know oh yeah I, i'm over here thinking they're telepathic um so i'm gonna i'm gonna end up actually getting the um the old skull and halo for the original listeners that have been here what what i'm gonna oh geez I'm getting that on my forearm, actually. I want it so bad. But I'm going to get it, like, traditional, because yeah. you know me. Now, I'm going to get the exact thing, but I want it, like, in a traditional concept. And I want the smiling one with the... Yeah, I love it. So I'm going to get that, dude. It's going to be so dirty. Shout out to uh, the original artist on that, Scott. He was actually out. out uh, yeah, Scott was the original artist that worked on the podcast stuff in the beginning. He made us uh, two characters. Ganon was like a skeleton with a halo. I was just myself, but uh, yeah, definitely shout out to Scott. You know, he he was actually out here uh, last weekend, no, two weekends ago, 
and he was going to be on the podcast. I do still want to try to get him on the podcast because he's been everywhere. He's done everything. Like he, he's a he's a really interesting guy. So I mean, definitely be on the lookout for that. I definitely want to reach out to him and get him on. I'm definitely down for that. I've heard nothing but good things about him and like his art and like his art style. Yeah, I think it's really nice. You don't see it a lot lately. And it's like original. His, it's original. <laughs> God, I wonder what that's all about. I wonder why they're so obsessed with original stuff, you know? It's almost like the podcast name is you know, something original. I don't know. But hey, man. I, I, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. How are you, how are you been? Uh, I've been amazing. Amazing? What, yeah, amazing. You know, what's going on? What's changed? Um, just, I don't know, just thinking about it, life and its concept, you know, waking up instead of waking up and being like, ew, life, existence, pain. (laughs) Yeah. I like to like wake up and just tell myself like, dude, Gannon, you know what's happening today at some point? Cause I wake up usually at like two 30 in the morning. Something Um, original. (laughs) Usually I think to myself the sun will come out at some time today and it's gonna be sweet and i'm gonna smile about it because i already told myself i'm gonna smile about it you know what i'm saying unless mm-hmm. there's a, a solar eclipse and then i'm kind of fucked but well yeah when's the next solar eclipse <laughs> hopefully never hopefully never <laughs> <laughs> i was just fuck my shit up honestly <laughs> yeah the second wait, there's I'll... a solar eclipse ganon is going back and to cryo sleep forever yeah, I'll wake up and it'll be like the groundhog that saw his fucking shadow. I'll wake up and, and then I'll like go through my day like, dude, the sun's gonna come out today. It's funny you bring up the groundhog. The remember it was like groundhog day like a couple a couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. start of the month February. Um, <laughs> and the day before Groundhog's Day, the groundhog that's always been the groundhog, uh, died. I heard about that actually. Yeah. And they replaced him within a day. Dude, that's how the, that's how everyone looks at humans. We're replaceable, dude. <laughs> I remember <laughs> when I thought that in the Navy. I was like, you know what? Like, they need me here, right? Right? Mm. And I just see how easy people were, like, replaced. And I'm like, mm, I'm expandable. Yeah. We all are, dude. I mean, your yeah. job doesn't care about it. if you die at your job, you know they'll re- they'll literally replace you within a couple of days, and it's yeah. just, it's like you would you were never there, basically. It's a beautiful thing, you know. It's a beautiful thing. So that you means, don't have to, uh, just yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. It's like it's like don't mourn, you know. This guy died, but it's like oh hey, what's going on, um, Jerry? Welcome <laughs> to our new co- corporation. You'll be sitting here, unbeknownst, the guy died that was there, but everyone does, like, everyone has that in the back of their head, Yeah. but we just don't think about it, because that's ew and weird, What? You know? I, it would suck being the guy that, uh... Died? No, <laughs> well, yeah, but it would be this guy, it would suck being the guy that was the replacee, yeah. the replacee place her i don't know the guy filling in for the dead person and you're probably like sitting in the same fucking cubicle as the as the guy that died you know he's like shit is this is this place haunted is this computer haunted these viruses aren't mine this (laughs) porn ad isn't mine i mean ghost gary over here just fucking watching porn at work god damn (laughs) then you get the then you get the ghost porn that comes from that you know? I heard it's spicy. I heard mm-hmm. it's real spicy. I hear it's a little paranormal. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's something original. Yeah, Sorry. We, we should we should just stop that, honestly. I'm just, God, it's embarrassing. <laughs> I think it's all right. <laughs> uh, I hope so. So how how have you been, dude? How, I mean, like, what have you been up to? I know I already asked that, but I mean like any new things happening in your life? Um I mean, like, uh, just little things here and there. Elden Ring? Elden Ring, definitely, yeah. I have, I have. last time I checked, I have 24 hours invested in Elden Ring already. <laughs> I I started a character, and then I deleted that character. I got to that oh, that's right. first I main boss. Say, yeah. And then, 
I, I think I've only recorded like seven hours. I've only played with this new account today for about eight hours. And I fucking beat the first boss. I finally did it. Took me only five hours. Pfft, I mean, who's counting though, really? Mm. That's the thing, though. Like, okay, yeah, that took an ex- excessive amount of time. But, like, what I hope people do with this game is just take everything into account around you. Because, mm-hmm. like, I, we were talking before this. Uh,. One of our friends, one of the people that were on this yeah. podcast before, Trey, Trey was talking <laughs> that um, the creators of this game were intending this game to be a full adventure game. Yeah. Meaning, like, Morgan LaFell or whatever his name is, um, doesn't isn't even, like, technically the main first boss. That's just mm-hmm. what we've gotten to because he's at the bottom of the tree. There's yeah. bosses that you can beat on that game before this fool. That is a hard boss, bro. Mm-hmm. But what they wanted you to do was look around you. There's mm-hmm. so much to do. There's so much to find. There's so much to see. I still haven't found the full map, and I have 24 hours invested. I, in this game yeah, already. I only have one uh, map fragment, and it's that first like starting area fragment. <laughs> mm. And uh, yeah, like Anna was saying, I'm just like petty. So, like, once I get to that boss, and I know he's, like, stopping me from progressing. See, what would happen was I started, I just was, like, let me just dip my toe in, all right, you know? Let me just try and beat him. Because I played, I fought him before uh, with my old character, and I got really gosh darn close with my old character, who was only, like, level 7. And I got really close, so I was like, let me test it out. My new character is, like, a level 12 at that point. Mm. Uh, let me let me just try and beat him and i got super fucking close like my first couple tries at him so i was like i can't stop like if i stop i'm gonna lose all this momentum and the thing about this goddamn game is that yeah, that's what it wants you to do it's like keep trying yeah keep going keep doing it yeah you'll <laughs> you'll lose all your momentum if you stop now and i would get I, I got so close, and then I got so far. There was points where I was just not doing any damage, and he would just fucking two-shot me, and I'm dead. It took me five hours to beat that goddamn boss, and I finally did it. That's the that's the thing also. like It's such a good sense of accomplishment once mm-hmm. you beat the boss, and it's just like, holy shit, I can fucking fight a bear in real life if I wanted to. Yeah. Dude, that's, like, exactly how I feel. And what I love about it, bro, is, like, you have to think during this game at fucking all times. All that's, times. That's literally what I've always wanted in an MMO. This, honestly, thinks reminds me of, like, a corked-up version of RuneScape, bro. No, it is. A lot of people are comparing it to RuneScape. Or just, like, people that haven't played Soul. I guess all the Souls games have always been kind of like RuneScape, but... Mm. This one, everybody's kind of like, this is, like, you actually have to go out and grind, especially with yes. how open world, how big the world is. You can, you don't have to fight that boss. You can go to, like, nine other different locations and fight, like, 20 different fucking bosses if you want. And that's just amazing. And then you just grind. You just level up. You start farming shit, and then you get your attributes up to where you want them. And then you can go and fight that boss. I'm just petty, and I wanted to just try and do it at a low level, and I did. And now I feel good about myself. That's what it's about. But now, yeah, now I'm just, I don't know what to do. I, I mean, I guess I can keep going, but I, I want to go back and look around. There's, I know there's a ton of other stuff. I did beat that wolf boss in that cave, like, right before you get to that other guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got him, too. Yeah. Oh, brag about it. <laughs> I mean, I also got the Golden Knight, too. Also throwing that out there oh, for Jesus y'all listening. Christ. I need, I'm going to go try him probably tomorrow. I'm going to try to beat him. Dude, I'm telling you, if you have guts, blade, smack. I I can't. I don't have. I'm only. Uh, I don't have enough strength. I think you need like thirty something. I only have 31. like thirteen. Thirty one. Yeah, I only have thirteen strength. Damn, bro. I got. I picked the astrologer. I'm a mm. mage. Uh, yeah, basically just mage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, but that's a dope class, bro. It is. Like, I mean, I've, 
I got like a magic sword now that's super fast. I needed 13 strength to wield it, so I couldn't wield it when I was fighting the gosh darn uh, fucking bridge boss. Mm. So I had to use my, like, not my starter sword. I got another sword, but I had to use that instead of my magic sword. And then once I beat him, I put all my points into strength so I could <laughs> wield that sword, and it's fucking dope. It's so fast, and it's it does magic damage, mm. which is perfect for me because I, I do a lot of magic damage. That's 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 tight, bro. I know. I'll show you where you can get that sword. Yeah, you please do. Want I've, I've sent you a couple little tricks and tips that we should keep amongst our group only yeah well i mean dude i hope they like bring because so far what i've noticed or what i've seen is like the multiplayer is only like for certain locations if you want to fight a boss or whatever if you want to like clear out a certain area you can get your friends online and do that but Mm. I don't. I I think it's only for like an limited time, and it's like in for certain areas only. Mm. Um, I hope they like put in like an arena mode, maybe where you can fight other people, <laughs> and like I think they can't. I think they've done that in other Souls games, but I hope like they invade, bro. Like yeah, invade. like yeah. basically an invader, but like a real person, and like have it like a coliseum kind of atmosphere, you know, where it's like oh shit. That's what I would think of when I would be doing that stuff. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, are you not entertained? Shit. Are you not entertained, my guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, let me take off my armor real quick. God, <laughs> Here's my broadsword. Here's my pork sword. Shit. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, you never heard of that pork sword? Mm, okay. <laughs> I I remember this is funny actually. This is where I heard it. This is uh when I was walking home from school one time when I was like in middle school or some shit, a bunch of high schoolers drove by me and yelled out their car, I'll smite thee with my pork sword at me. Scarred you for life. <laughs> scarred me for life, but I was like I knew exactly what it meant, you know. You'd be surprised at like middle school I'd be like, For what? Pork sword? But I was like, That's, That's my fuck. penis. That's fucking funny, actually. I was like, <laughs> good on them. Now I have that forever, and I can use that whenever. And I just bless the audience with that. You're welcome. That's an art form. It is, man. The so, course. I mean, back on Elden Ring, <laughs> how, how are you liking it so far? You think it's like game of the year? That's what a lot of people are Definitely. saying so far. That hands, hands down. Dude, I have been starving, honestly, for yeah. a game like this. A very game just like this. I want like I'll be playing Fortnite or Paladin <laughs> before and like I literally like they got to the point like people would ask me like hey man wanna hop on and I honestly like I really had no desire to play in either mm-hmm. of those games I got I, I so burnt out and then but this I could see myself especially it's got the nerdy fucking magic the knights the dragons it's everything that I've ever wanted in a game and it's like decent graphics bro it's fun like once you once you get past i'm telling you once you get that first boss weight lifted off your shoulders you're like oh wow i know how to fight stuff now and yeah. you know what happens you go out there and you start learning how different and that's what i also love about it you kind of have to like learn how the movements of enemies are mm-hmm. you know you're like learning how to defeat your enemy like with the proper tactics in multiplayer, they leave messages down. Dude, you know how many times I've now read a message before I walk yeah. into a place, and I'm like, oh, that's tight. Well, you get those fucking messages sometimes. Some of them are trolls, where it's like you're heading over oh, a cliff, yeah. and it's like, hey, there's a hidden lair down there. You'll you'll live. And I'm like, I, I, I saw one that right. have faith, <laughs> and I did it, and I died. Yeah, the fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it is super helpful, and, yeah, that's the whole thing about the this – type of game it's like you you try and try and try again Mm -hmm. until you learn the movements of your opponent like you because they kind of it's even that one boss they had like maybe 10 different moves that they would do over and over and over again and would never change and it would Mm -hmm. be kind of in a rhythm you would just need to pay attention to like where their sword was swinging or whatever 
And you just you eventually just know what's going to happen. It's like, oh, he's swinging his sword that way. I need to roll backwards. Or he's like, oh, he's going to do like a four-piece combo right here. I need to just make sure I keep distance. Oh, he's going to do a ground pound. I can I can dodge that at the right time, get close, and just get a couple swings in. But that hammer's it's, the truth. <laughs> the hammer's the truth? Are yeah. you like dual wielding and shit now? No, I'm talking about that that the boss's hammer, that light hammer he pulls out. The hammer he... never scared me because it was so slow. I was like, okay, I can expect where it's gonna go. Oh yeah, I didn't. I just don't have like the quick dodge anymore. Oh, you don't? Well, I am wielding a just supposed to be a double handed axe, and mm-hmm. I am wielding a heavy shield. Like it's mm-hmm. just a a little bit slower of a dodge. It's not like a super slow one. It's yeah. like. Like, what my guy is carrying, I should only be able to walk, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That sucks, actually. I would not be able... I, that's also co- super cool, though, how it, like, you... As you're, like, progressing through the game, you're also getting new, like, armor and shit and, like, abilities and stuff mm-hmm. and weapons. So your character changes also. So, like, the heavier stuff that you're carrying the slower you roll or the slower you like swing. So you kind of have to like change your strategy just as a player and like just memorize how you <laughs> work in the world yeah, along exactly. with the enemies. Your That's... role, your RPG. <laughs> it's a, it, dude, this is a beautiful MMO RPG. This is what it's supposed to be. Yeah. I love yes. that. And <laughs> Yeah, and that's the thing that like video games have been lacking. Like how Ganon was saying, we would be playing Paladins, Fortnite, what else? We fucking smite. smite. You, we would get, we would have fun playing with our friends. Yeah, but I mean that uh, if you, you play like so many games in a day or so many games in a month, and it's just like, and nothing changes. Like there's no story. You can't invest yourself in. They're, the maps are always the same. You kind of pick the same characters, same loadouts, do the same things. Exactly. And it, it just gets repetitive and boring. The thing with this kind of game, especially with how open it is now, you can go anywhere, try different things, do different classes, like, and it's so big and there's an actual fucking story to go along with it. So you're invested in that and you can go along with that or you can do all the side shit and like just collect and do all this other stuff and just level up and grind and you there's so many goddamn enemies that you just never get bored and it's always a new thing and you're always on your toes yes what ganon was saying also it's dude like and even with like um certain you know farming spots like i saw people putting like good luck even on that like, even a good yeah. farming spot, you have a chance of getting murked. Yeah. No, no. I mean, just riding through, a, like, an open field. I was, like, I was, I would look around because I would be, like, okay, I'm, like, trying to follow a guide to see where I need to go next. Mm. And I would, I would make sure I would be in an open field around nothing. And I would be like, okay, let me open my phone. Let me look at this thing. And I would get fucking cross map no scoped from a random NPC and it would kill me instantly. And I, and I would have to start over from wherever I just had my checkpoint at. What the fuck? So you literally can't like, you can't stop moving. You can't like just relax unless you're by that checkpoint. Yeah. It's just like. That's so cool, honestly, but it's like, it's also very frustrating. There was a point where I was just like, I don't even know if I want to play. Like yesterday, I was like, I don't even know if I like want to submit myself to this anymore. I've I've had faith, bro. Like, dude, that's the thing. Like, Trey was really about to give up too. And he was just like, he's like, I'm going to try the boss one more time, bro, or I'm just going to quit. And then he was like, wait, I think I figured something out. And then, like, next thing you know, yeah. he was just like, oh, I bet. And, like, dude, like Trace yeah. was saying, it's such a good feeling. Like, I don't know. Like, people, what I think it is, is, <laughs> like, these new, I don't like, I don't mean to sound like an old person again, but it's just like, you guys have got to find the struggle in a game and just soak it in. Mm-hmm. Because these games that come out, bro, are just, like, fucking almost generic fucking copy and print print 
paste, copy and paste, you know, because it's like all now like battle royale. Like let's all just yeah. have a battle royale. Let's all just have nothing but spending buku amounts of money to try to get add-ons. This is all in the game. Granted, yeah. it is eighty bucks for the D- like or 60. no sixty bucks, dude. Yeah. Like with the base game right now, dude, you will be playing this game for a hot minute. Mm-hmm. And Bro. especially if you're not good like me, and you'll be stuck on a boss forever. But I, I, I implore you to give it a try, and mm-hmm. definitely don't give up. Because I, I, that's what everybody keeps saying is be like, a don't warrior. Give up. Like, don't be, be a, a warrior. Be a war- that's what I, dude. Like I just, and then once you get like once you start learning it, bro, and then you start just smacking enemies that used to smack you, mm-hmm. bro. That it just feels even more amazing. It's like be gone, filth. You know, if it's just great, you you feel like a warrior at that point. You're like, yeah, this guy used to own me, and now I destroy him. You know, yeah, exactly. God, it, it's such a good game, and it's it's crazy that this only took like four years to make. I'm pretty sure but they. This is this game has very longevity. It, it does, and especially with how open world and how the multiplayer is <laughs> going to work, I feel like there's going to be so much it's that you can delicious. do overall. Yeah. And fortunately, like, this came out with, like, almost no bugs. I haven't encountered any dude, bugs. This, bro, ah, like, dude, <laughs> people need to give this game a good chance. Yeah. Like, I can't stress it. Like, oh, like, I was really playing earlier today, and I was just like, I think it probably at least once an hour I'm playing, I'm like, damn, this game is good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I literally think that. I'm like, I'll be playing. And, like, I'll be, like, riding my horse through just, like, open prairie. And I'm like, damn, it's good. It's good to be a knight, you know? It looks so good, too. The scenery overall is just, like... And, like, the armors aren't generic. Like, nothing is the same in the game. No, either. nothing. Everything has its own look, its own ability. It's amazing. What the they character customization, too, is just top-notch. Yes. Yeah, we were just talking about that, too, bro. The, so many different class. How many different classes? Nine classes. I don't know. It's a lot. Like Elder Scrolls Online, bro. They took like fucking nine years to drop the game. Buggy. Mm-hmm. I don't mean to be ja- d- dissing on it because I put heavy hours into it. But like, oh, Elder Ring stomps Elder Scrolls to the ground Damn. instantly. Already. Already. <sighs> and so I'm Team Elden Ring now, bro. I love. <laughs> I used to love Skyrim. But Elder yeah. Scrolls, like, I put a lot of hours in that game, and I had good faith in that game. Mm-hmm. But, like, I will be playing it. Like, if someone asks me, like, hey, dude, what do you feel like playing? I'm not going to be playing Fortnite or Paladins probably no more. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm probably literally going to be playing nothing but, like, Elden Ring and then, like, regular life because you got to have that. I mean, I wish it could yeah. be just straight Elden Ring because, fuck, bro. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, dude, I have like all this other stuff to do in the background. We had to record a podcast today, I and know. I was like, should we just play Elden Ring? I don't know. I don't know. But know, you're dude. welcome. You're welcome, audience. We we decided to, you know what? I For the people. But we can talk about Elden Ring on the podcast the, the entire time. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much, dude. And it just makes you more excited. I probably am. I'm not going, ah. Oh. I probably need to go to bed. No, I'm not going to bed after this. I'm going to probably get on. I'll hate myself tomorrow, but yeah, the conquest is worth it. Hey, man. I mean, you know, uh, life. Yeah. You always you have more days. That's true. I mean, there's always tomorrow. Elden, Elden Ring is not going to be here forever. Enjoy it. I know. It's so great. Like, I really <laughs> hope this is like... I hope they try to milk this game honestly for a hot minute. Like, I don't like with the, what they already have out though. There's yeah. so much, bro. There's so much to do. Like, there's endless amounts of things you could be doing. Like right oh. now, I've given myself a personal goal to ca- cro- I've already crossed the impassable bridge one a couple times actually because I'll get across. And then I'm not going to tell you what's on the other side because that's for you to find adventure. Uh, but f- God damn. <laughs> like, 
you get past the impassable bridge and you're like, oh, wow, I'm home free. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay, actually, I'll tell you. There, <laughs> there, there is a crazy amount of knights, heavy knights, and then I'm trying to get this weapon right now. I don't know where I can find it. I've been looking up videos. There's a certain knight that is usually on a horseback over in like the dead area is what I call it because I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's where the giant like rat dinosaur things are. And but there's a knight that has a spear, bro. That is it's constantly on. It's a magical spear and it's on fire. The tip's on fire, right? And I'm like, dude. That spear looks cold as fuck. So I start fighting this fool, right? Tell me why he can then launch fireballs with a spear, bro. Oh, that's right up your alley. I'm like, I need this weapon so bad. So I've been killing a bunch of those. But there's those on the other side of this bridge. The impassable bridge. Mm -hmm. And on the way there, they shoot fireballs from the sky. And it's one... Jesus Christ. And then two, and it pretty much takes up a good circumference on the bridge itself. Like, it's a pretty big, and you gotta just swivel. Like, I can't put it on my, I wanted to put a note in the beginning of it, like, swivel, but you had to put, like, specific notes. Like, they're, you have to, like, find words to be, uh, oh, that's yeah, nice. they're like templates. So, it, it's not like they can, which I also honestly like also, because it's like, you have to figure out how you could, then warn the next person without giving mm -hmm. away the full answer, which I like, honestly. So I just put yeah. be weary of direction because the fireballs, they stay in that line. They're like they won't move midair. So you got to swivel out of the way, dodge that. And there's one that comes down and there's one that falls right after it. And that's usually going to be right on your ass. So you got to jump out of the way on that one. And then they do that a couple times on the way there, probably like three times. And then you get across, there's an archer that shoots up. A multiple arrow, not just fire tipped. I thought they were just fire tipped, folks. Nope, explosive. Motherfucker oh blew me God. the fuck up the first time. I, like I was like behind this wall, and I was like, "Ooh, I'm safe." Boom, blew blew up, bro. And then behind that, though, <laughs> bunch of knights go up the other side to the castle where I'm trying to ultimately get. I want to kill everything on the way there because that's just me. Um, and but then there's a giant, like those giants that pull like the wagons. Oh yeah. But with a flaming sword. <sighs> like, I've killed Why? multiple of the giants already. But this flame sword one, they've made even tankier. Yeah. Like, I'll be... Like, my weapon does damage on those fools. Like, the regular ones. But this one is extra spicy. I got him probably, like, a third of the way down. He, twi he switched formations. And then went straight attack mode, and I didn't know what the fuck to do, bro. I haven't tried to refight him yet. Yeah, that's I, why there's. Oh, go ahead. But but if you like, what I want to try to get across to the viewers, everything I just explained is a very 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 tiny part of this map. A very tiny part. Oh, yeah, dude. There is everything. There's, I just, yeah, it feels like there's another storyline happening, like. In these little tiny fragment, fragmented parts of the just entire game, mm -hmm. and it's just like, oh, all this stuff is like new, and it's it, it's breathing like new life into like the world. Yes, and it's it's like they all they all got their own problems going on over in this part, and yeah, you like fight the boss, and it's like the boss has its own like crazy backstory, and like. Mm -hmm. It's just so insane. It's amazing. And it's so hard, and you have to, like, traverse and do all this other shit. It's, it's like, it's just so good, dude. It Please is. give it a chance, guys. Please. <laughs> Please. I want this one to last. Like, it's I, it, I feel like it's going to be here for a while. Oh, I know. Because, like, honestly, I get on my TikTok now, and that's all my TikTok feed is. That's all my TikTok feed is, too. Like, I can see... And, like, I'll get, like, three good ones, you know, like, where it's like, oh, hey, guys, if you want to find this weapon, it's over here. If you want to get this amount of XP, it's over here, mm -hmm. you know? And then I'll get, like, one guy's like, I'm honestly going to install this fucking game right now. It is so garbage. I'm like, I just think to myself in my head, be better. <laughs> You're already sounding like a Dark Souls veteran. <laughs> get, get, I don't get care. Good. I'll be that guy right now. Because it's so good, dude. 
It's so good. It is. I mean, just my my tip of, tip of the advice for you all: don't give up. <laughs> don't, don't give up. Don't give up. If it's too hard and you want to just uh, take a break from it, go somewhere else. Like try to explore another place and just keep trial and error in that area for a while. Or if that doesn't work out, literally go somewhere else. There's so many different ways you can go about things, and you can level up and grind and just get super fucking dangerous yourself and then come back to that wherever you were initially stuck at and fuck him up exactly my magic is that i never give up exactly <laughs> i have a i have a ash of war right now that's a it gives me like determination like a determination skill yeah, yeah. i don't know what it does but it on it i i seriously don't even know what it does but i always activate it because it just makes me feel determined to beat a boss <laughs> That's li- it, watch it be a straight placebo <laughs> like it's like doesn't even do anything and you're just like oh dude i kick ass i i think it does do something but it, i always just do it because my guy does a fucking dope ass pose when he does it yeah. and i just i'm like because the thing is called determination and i'm just like Bleh! and i run into battle i'm just ah! determined it's, yeah it just gives me a spark of hope that's what we all need really so welcome back to the uh, Elden Ring podcast, where we talk only exclusive Elden Ring topics. I'm your host, Garfunkel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you should have named your character Garfunkel. Uh, right now it is Captain Faoma. Captain. Faoma. But I want to kind of change the Beowulf. I'm kind of Beowulf. I can't, I can't decide. I've seen so many people like. Uh, design their characters to look just like Guts, and they have like a whole like armor set that's like Guts's armor set. Also. The Exile. Yeah, I'm wearing it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. God damn it. I love it. I yeah. I'm I I'm finally like getting items. Like once you like actually start getting items to make your character look different from like just the base character, it makes it makes so much better. Even then, like, I mean, I'm only speaking from personal experience because I'm a confessor main. Mm-hmm. Um, they start off with drip, dog. The confessor yeah. is icy, bro. He looks like Assassin Creed nun. He's amazing. The uh, the uh, astrologer actually looks just like Assassin's Creed, but because um, it's got, like, the white hood and everything. Yeah. But it's just like, I keep looking at him just like, oh, this just reminds me of the clan. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> actually, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, no, I was just like, eh, it's cool, Assassin's Creed, you know, but, and then I'm like, oh, on the other, on the other side of the coin, <laughs> on the other side of the coin, if you want to get dark, and I got, <laughs> I hit a lot of lows when I was playing, I was like, God, look at myself, I'm just looking racist as hell. <laughs> oh, I have the, uh, location of the double side speed, I guess I could show that afterwards, but if you want it, I have it. I uh, will, I can't, I don't want to do... I like my magic sword right now. So okay. far, it's doing me. It's doing me good. And I'm gonna go back, and I, I think I'm gonna try to fight that dragon. And there's some other shit that I want to try. There's a whole like oh, the sleeping south dragon? area, not the sleeping dragon, the one that like drops into the lake. I want to go back and fight that horse guy at the start, mm. and see how I can do against that. You, you're not gonna go kill the sleeping dragon. I can. Where is it? I see. I don't even know. I, there, wait, I, 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 I sent you the. I sent you that that video. Oh. I'm giving you guys a fat XP hint right now. If you look up, see. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but sleeping dragon. Fat sleeping XP, dragon. like forty thousand. I think it is. All right. Should we get off Elden Ring? We've literally been yeah, talking definitely. about it for like four, <laughs> forty minutes. God, I am so sorry, audience. Jesus oh, we could, Christ. Oh. The gang talks Elden Ring. So people, well, maybe not. I was trying to think of a title. (laughs) Uh, Elden Original. I don't know. Original, I don't know. Elden something. Elden, I don't know. You'll get it. You'll get the gist. It'll be something fucking Elden Ring related. (laughs) So um, let's get into some topics that we actually had. Did you hear that the... International Space Station is supposed to crash land on Earth in like 2031. Awesome. Think of this. We we spent probably 
trillions of dollars putting that up there, building it in space, um, and having it as just like this area where astronauts just hang out, do tests, whatever, learn about space. And then we're just going to let it crash land into the ocean. Yeah. Or better yet, <laughs> if it hits something, like before it hits anything, you can shoot at it. Like with missiles and shit. Well, I think it's just supposed to crash land into the ocean. No, I, I, want, I want physical proof that this fucking multi-million dollar piece, piece of equipment fell out of the sky. I need video I, proof. I just... I just don't understand why it's why it's coming back to Earth. Mm. Just keep it out there. Let's just keep expanding on it. Upgrade it. No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Could do that. I mean, like, what if this goes wrong, too, and it fucking hits, like, Ohio? What the fuck? What's going to happen? Well, I guess uh, people in Ohio, including me, would be gone. Unalive. If you I feel like it would probably burn up coming I don't even know how big it is. I feel like it has to be big. It's like a space station, you know? Mm. No, but in my like, luck, it'd be like a small piece of shrapnel like coming down, and I'm like walking <laughs> out, like, doo -doo -doo, then right through the dome piece. Damn. <laughs> and you're just like, well, I just beat a boss in Elden Ring. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, my I'll just beat my Elden day's Ring. going so good. And then just boom, domed. They just gave me my my grandfather award in Elden Ring because I was I've been here, <laughs> and then exactly. I, boom, dead. What do you think is next though? Like moon base? Yeah, I think probably moon base. I mean, I don't know. Like <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just feel or like you think they, Mars? You think least... Moon is first or Mars? I think it'll probably be Mars for a human life. Oh really? I think so. Okay. I think so. Makes sense, probably. Because I yeah. feel like they got weird shit going on. If it, like That's the conspiracy side of me. I feel like they got weird shit going on on the moon landing. So they probably <laughs> won't want people around that. And it's like, especially for like now, like, colonizing among different planets at this point. You, they could hide just about fucking anything. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And I feel like they've been on the moon. They've been doing all their work on the moon. It, the, it, I feel like this, but they would do mars first for living there's a there was like a report that came out that said uh they they think they found life on mars it's not like anything like oh they found like bacteria Ugh. it's like they actually think like they found like bones and stuff on mars i th I, th I actually think i heard about that that's crazy could you imagine if not even if there was like human beings on Mars at, or like humanoid people on Mars. Mm. If there was like a fucking dog like thing on Mars, that would shit on our whole. That, that would literally be so groundbreaking. I bet we would all, I would hope we would all come together and just unite and like just try and be like, what the fuck? else is out there like we are obviously not the only species we are not obviously the only like creatures in the universe like let's fucking join hands and just go travel the world or the universe to find new shit that would be pretty sweet would i would be, like it to would just, be nice like just travel among like just across the stars you know I don't even care if I'm like a super, super old man, you know, and I just hop on there. It's like my dying wish, you know. They're like, oh, you have like 30 minutes to live. I'm like, <laughs> send me to the fucking sun. Damn, the sun? Yeah. It would get really hot the closer you get, right? Well, I'm trying to vaporize, homie. Mm. I don't think that would be the best way to go out. It would be sweet. Like, Vikings used to just, like, catch themselves on fire, bro, but I'm going to just go into the fire, you know what I mean? I I mean, yeah, I get you. But, uh, like, okay, so would you would you be willing... Okay, so here's the situation. Mm. We uh, have found a way to travel through space, uh, but it would just take, like, normal whatever space travel. Like, it would take, like, light, light years, years to get to, yeah, places. No warp drive, nothing. It just like we move with 
what we can. And the process would be, uh, like, we would have a group of people on these spaceships that would be traveling. And obviously, you would need to have, like, kids and stuff in space to keep that lineage going. Would you be, like, one of the first people to, like, do that? Knowing you would be dead by the time you reach our destination wherever it is um i mean like so so they would want to take my kids yeah your kids would be on the space station and your or not the space like the spaceship and your kids would eventually have to have kids with other people on the ship eventually when they grow up and they would probably die and their kids would have kids and you know it's a whole thing until they get to the destination but they would still need to keep like reproducing i think that'd be their decision what do you mean like if it's that no like, I'm, I'm asking if you would be if you would sign up for that to have kids just to essentially for them to die <laughs> No, I mean, like, being on the spaceship and, like, yeah, you would have to have kids for them to just die, but you would also be dying, you know, in the process. No, absolutely not. Actually. Really? No. That's I wouldn't terrible. either. That's a terrible life. I would want my kids to experience shit. I don't want them to be, like, oh, hey, welcome to the, this, this is your existence, this, this tin can. What if, um, what if the world is dead so there's no other choice like and we haven't developed like space travel enough to obviously like go into cryo sleep or whatever uh you would have to literally just keep reproducing until we get to another habitable planet would you do that if like earth is a no-go you can't go back i mean like if earth's a no-go like i have no choice (laughs) so you would because at the end of the day, I'm still, like, team humanity yeah. at, the, at the source of it, mm-hmm. you know? Because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That's don't a know. sticky situation. Actually, you know what? what? What realistically have humans done that is, like, amazing, like, fantastic for, like, life? Well, I feel like we've we definitely didn't have a good start. But mm-hmm. we we can do a lot of different things. I because I'm on the side of like staying alive forever. I want to mm-hmm. be able to stay alive forever and just travel through space and time and you know whatever, and just seeing what else is out there. But I feel like we can change our mindset so quickly because we we have a relatively on like a fucking universal scale. We have like went from primitive nature to like somewhat civilized nature. In the in the matter of like a blink of an eye on the universal scale, you know. But I think if you have something of monetary value at the forefront and focus of any kind of drive, then there's it's just fucking bullshit at the end of the day. Well, yeah, that's that's the whole thing. We would have to overcome, you know, all like, of capitalism. <laughs> we're still we're modern, yeah, but like our idealism is fucking primitive as shit exactly like capitalism doesn't it doesn't uh promote innovation it just promotes profits Hmm. and i i mean that's the whole thing with like socialism we need to like have the bridge between you know capitalism and a you know democratically socialist community where it's everything is controlled by the people for the people i still think that would be i still think with I still think we would have to totally legitimately evaporate our government system. Like, what we have going on yeah. is not going to... Uh, even then, I feel like, even if we switch to a socialist government, I still think it would be not great. Because, at the end of the day, like, I don't know. I feel like... Ah, it's just fucking sticky, because we have to survive <laughs> off of, like, things still. Like, sleep and like, eating and fucking shit like yeah. that. Well, hopefully, like tech, like we're we're at such an awesome stage and like uh, just present, you know. Like we, our like medicine is super good and it's just getting better at e- each year. Our technology is getting better. Like technically, our life expectancy is improving. In America, it's not, but 
that's just you know late stage capitalism for you but eventually i you know hope to you know we get like a universal healthcare system like every other country does we just make like education just a right you get it you can pursue whatever you want and that way we are always learning we're learning at an exponential rate and we're just trying to make society better eventually we'll have to overcome like the whole money situation the capitalist situation and we'll it'll obviously like we'll have like robots and stuff like automation we'll have like not us doing all the work and yeah we will probably still have to sleep but hopefully we'll eventually overcome sleep will create something that makes us not have to sleep i just don't see other countries just accepting like people to have free roam well things. yeah yeah i mean there's always going to be somebody that opposes it you know but all it takes is all it takes is a spark i don't know sorry miko was on my goddamn laptop he almost stopped the recording miko stop it but um oh so let's get into like a lighter topic <laughs> mm. Segway. that's what you came for right so shiloh's been reading this book or she read this book where it's a it's a true like biography what is a biography the person who writes it or is that an autobiography autobiography is when when the person themselves writes it this is an autobiography of this guy who basically learned how to like access more of his brain by just uh basically breaking his brain so he he let's uh, i i wish shiloh was on to talk about it more but this is like super like fucking to me this sounded super groundbreaking um so what his his origins were like he was like a 30 something year old person living in somewhere he was super depressed down on himself and his brain he basically was contemplating killing himself you know so he was just laying in bed one night he was thinking he was like like why it's it's weird how like i'm having the thought of killing myself like obviously my body shouldn't do that like your brain is your brain is always working against like uh harm harmful things you know it's always trying to alert you from that stuff and basically he he thought he basically like broke the fourth wall or the third wall i don't know fourth wall he basically broke the fourth wall in his brain where basically there was just nothing like his brain, like he could like understand shit going on outside of himself. I don't, I'm not really explaining it the best, but he basically, he basically entered a state where it was just calm and he felt nothing but bliss. He basically felt enlightened is what he claims to be. So now he's a like he's a it's like literally an out of body experience. It's not like astro projection or anything. He literally, to me, I think he went into like a different dimension. He's going into a different dimension whenever he does this. He broke his brain enough to where he can on command just go into another state of mind, and he he feels no like he feels like no negative thoughts or he doesn't really even feel like super happy thoughts but he feels a complete sense of like nirvana enlightenment and i feel like he to me when i was hearing about that i basically was like maybe he's just one step away from like being able to literally travel through time and dimensions and shit like that you know and what if it was that simple where you just had to like think about how your brain shouldn't be processing this information like this and you can just enter a state of nothing that would be pretty sweet if it could be done like that like if you could find the measurements the measurements <laughs> yeah yeah but i was i was thinking like and what he does to help is like meditate and stuff you know like something that oh we're pretty we're pretty 
good with. I, I wouldn't say fitting. good, but yeah. See, like it's it's a natural part of like Ganon's routine, maybe. Uh, and you know, it's I, joyful. I try, I try like I'm not going to cap. Like I'll try like twice a week. I try to. They they say you twice try a week. To yeah, they should try. They say you should try to do it every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, but Ellen Ring's calling my name. I can't. That's right. I find peace after the war. <laughs> it, oh God, dude, I I want to play <laughs> Ellen Ring so bad. But isn't that just so cool though? What if we could do that and just go into another dimension and it's just that simple we just have to break our brain essentially and and now he's like i guess he's like an old person and he literally like he has no worries he stress-free he he just doesn't worry about any of that stuff and he's he's basically found a modern sense of enlightenment man i only hope for that in my life me too that'd be amazing like i couldn't imagine just like being like that clear-minded because like even with like meditating i feel like i have to almost like force my calm like it's a lot of deep breaths hella deep breaths because i already got like a little bit of anxiety as it is you know well we all got a little bit of anxiety yeah that's true so did you have any topics did you have anything you wanted to leave the podcast on be the light you want to see cliche but i'm gonna just go with that that's like the the really only topic i went so far with the elden ring that's like all i'd be thinking about i know i i mean like after the elden ring shit it just kind of like soured out in my opinion just kidding this was awesome this was a great episode audience (laughs) like it (laughs) but yeah i dude i that's literally the only thing on my mind and i'm like hungry as fuck but uh yeah like ganon What'd you say? I feel that I'm pretty hungry myself. I'm fucking. I'm. I'm hungry. Hey, I'm hungry. But um, I'm hungry, dude. I mean, and I want to play Elden Ring, and I have to re- fucking edit this podcast. It's Monday, guys. By the way, That's we right. are so late getting this out. Oh, and Shiloh just got home. Hello. Hi, I'm recording. <laughs> Hello. Um, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'll cut all that. But, yeah, like Ganon was saying, you know, just be the light that you want to see. We were just talking about it. Like, you know, you want to see the world in a different perspective. And, you know, we should be changing it every single day with our actions and our words. Manifest and our thoughts. It. Manifest a better world for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Don't manifest just being, like, the bad guy. Like, to, like I feel like when you manifest with some kind of nefarious ambition behind mm-hmm. it you, you at the end all of your plans will foil in some way shape or form they will they will they will just end badly and you always got to keep giving energy to your manifestations like mm-hmm. always the positive energy you know like okay like i'm i'm feeling good about myself today i'm feeling good about whatever I want to manifest something into this, whatever it is, making the world a better place. Like, hopefully we can get to a fucking eco nature filled, uh, society where we don't have to worry about any of the bad stuff. And we can just only focus on progression and happiness. And you, and it starts with you. It starts with every single one of us, you know, that's true, brother. But, did you wanna? Did you wanna give us another shout out? Did you wanna give Gavin a shout out for his stream? Oh yeah. Um, if you guys, you know, want to find a good uh, stream to watch, um, it's at Wokens on I, I think just um, Twitch. Uh, How do you spell it? Um, w o a h k i n s capital W I believe. Or maybe not. Okay. Try both. Try we'll put a link. We'll, we'll put the link in the description. But, yeah, definitely go give him a shout-out. You know, he's a big supporter of the podcast and, uh, you know, just trying to help each other out. If you're not listening to this episode uh, or this podcast in general, you can watch him. And then while you're not watching him, you can listen to us again only. Yeah. Those We're are just... your only 
two options. If you want to be a cool, especially cool guy, um, oh, never mind. If you want to be an especially cool person, you can follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. We are there on those platforms, and we also have the Patreon. Gannon's book is available. We also have a new show, Next Caller. The first episode is up. Patreon is only $5 a month, uh, and you know that's like half of Chipotle, you know? Let's Go get it. Go subscribe, and you know, you'll know you love every second of it. And then afterwards, use the same amount of money and get yourself a burrito. Ex- exactly. Taco Bell burrito, they're like a dollar. They're delicious. You can get five. They're amazing. But, I mean, yeah, you know, go give us a like, follow, subscribe. I love you. I love but you. But my name was Chase. And I was, am, and will always be Gannon. Peace. Peace out, go scout, bye.